Hey yo, Killer Instinct works. All the classic arcade games on my computer ready to go with track mode? Okay. All right, here we are. When you download the file, you should get a bunch of zips. Just go ahead and double click the bottom file at the bottom of the files, and then you should extract this here, or it's gonna say uh, HyperPy. I was gonna say Hyper Arcade. Uh, within utilities, there's a bunch of things for you here, like 7-zip, if you need it, you don't have to have it. Notepad++, nice, doesn't have to have it. PlayStation controller driver is nice to have, but you don't have to have it. DirectX, most computers have this installed already, but if in case you need it, there it is. He also included some other uh, links like more games, how to get to ME Paradise. And then uh, for these, he said to install 2005 all the way up to 2015. I didn't install any of them and I haven't run into any issues yet. But if you are going to install them, start with 2005 and then work your way up to 2015. In order to change your drive, the system does run on the H drive. So if you put it on your C or your D drive, which is typical for your, um, your computers, <clears throat> it's not going to work. You just go into our run. Type in the code, disk manager, there you go. Okay, so here's our disk manager. Right now I have it at this D drive. I can go ahead and uh, just change this right here to change drive letter. And I can go ahead and change it to H, okay. And then that would how, how I do it. Otherwise I can hook up an external hard drive. It'll be populated here. Click on the hard drive you want, right click, change the drive letter, change it to H and you're ready to go. So. Wherever you drop this file, it needs to be on an H drive. It could be any hard drive of yours, but it has to be an H. Be careful if you're if you're changing your main hard drive to C drive because a lot of paths and things might get messed up once you change it. So I recommend doing it on a secondary drive, whether it be external or inside your computer, but it does need to be H for this to work. One more thing you do have to do is go into that third folder there, go to media and then go to fonts and you have to install this brand new font and that's gonna enable you to use the loading screens. So I had to do this. If you have it already installed, you don't have to, but I recommend doing it just so you don't have to go back and do it again. Another thing I had to do was go into the uh, main folder, the emulators folder, then main, and then load the main configuration. Then go to configuration options here. And then I went into uh, general inputs. And then from there, I went to other controls. And then you can see that my coin one was not bound. So you either need to bound that to your arcade stick or bind that to your um, keyboard. And so my start and my coins, you definitely need that for the majority of the game. So go ahead and make sure there you have go. all these set up. And you can also set up your player one controls at the same time here. Nice intro. So what makes this so amazing is it is for your computer. So you can see there's like no lag whatsoever. Like look how quick this is compared to my Raspberry Pi, which might take a little longer for this hyper spin layout. The other thing that's what's so great about this is a lot of people when it comes to arcade games, um, it's hard to get them, right? Nobody wants to buy a thousand dollar cabinet. So to have all these at your fingertips is amazing. Loading. Loading complete. So this is when you press tab and we can go ahead and do input in general player one controls. Okay, up, 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 that's good. But as I mentioned, if you set up your controls here, like I'm doing on, on Bright Peshing tab, okay. or you can exit out and just do it uh, like I did before in this video. Okay, now it's working. All right, we got our arcade stick working now.
This arcade stick is just using a typical Dragon Wise USB encoder. trying to do his other move. I think he has a kick move now. Yeah, there it is. He keeps blocking that move. There we go. Oh, missed the move, missed the move. There we go. There we go. Round three. Fight. I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> the other punch button I know does something else as well. The old trip move. Got him. I thought I set it up in track mode. Let's see what we did here. This is what I did. I went into controls and uh, you know back exit. I have it as joystick button one. If I wanted to add an input, I just click here. So I can like add an input. There you go. Now joystick seven was added. But if I want to remove it, go ahead and remove input. And now it's either delete on my keyboard, escape on my keyboard, or button one back I can do up button down button left right select a game and then um, next how to configure add and remove a favorite exit game if I have it a start select or escape plus down okay so once your controls are set up so I can go back. Four player main games. So you can have all your friends in on this. I don't know if these are all four player. Oh, maybe Battletoads. Yeah, maybe. I guess, yeah. Most of these are. Dunk Mania. I didn't know Michael Jackson Moonwalker was. Cool game, though. Now off-road, sometimes you need a steering wheel for that. Player's Choice. The scroll's pretty good too. Oh, you yeah, The Simpsons. Let's just load this really quick, see how it runs. Loading complete. Over. So you can see bezels, really nice stuff. I love that there's a custom bezel for the Simpsons. Using my arcade stick right now. games so like a game that doesn't run on the pie is um, area 51 
as you can see, it runs just fine, but I had a really hard time I'm getting my controls it. configured for this. But uh, I just need to mess with it some more. And um, you have a lot of options here with a computer that you can add an ear mouse, all sorts of stuff. Hey yo, Killer Instinct works. Oh, pretty even game here. Ooh, damn, that combo. Ah. Ooh. Got wrecked. As long as they're wrecked by Orchid, I'm fine with that, though. Oh, and Killer Instinct 2, huh? Loading. Loading complete. Nice! I mean, you got Metal Slug, you got all of them, sure. One, two, two, three, four, five, and X. And Metal Slug does lag a little bit on the Raspberry Pi. So, in order to be able to play it here, this is awesome. Especially if you're playing two player. Get a little green screen like this is normal. You got the beautiful bezels. So player one is working. I don't know, just get me in the game. so well at all. Whoa, a lot of a lot of things going on. Okay. Oh look at that, I just mind controlled. Mind control like what to do. Killing fish out of water. Got him. Fish. 
pretty cool graphics. Oh. We're doing pretty good. I think it's a Oh. Somebody got shot down. Barracuda, baby. Oh boy. Whoa. Whoa, buddy. Wow, homing missiles. Ah, oh, got me. I don't want to kill this guy. There we go. Oh, you can turn him to your own. I stole him. That's awesome. Don't mess with me, I got a barracuda. Alright, you guys get the get the gist of it. There you go. That's Run and gun games? Whoa. Games. You guys like fighters. It's pretty crazy how much stuff is here. Dead ball games. Main four player gun games, CPS 1 to 3, Atari Classics, Capcom, you got all your publishing companies here. Donkey Kong, Killer Instinct, King of Fighters, and then back. So there you have it. I mean, there's a lot of games on here. From everything from sports, to the classics, you name it. It's got it. Really cool. Shout out to Harrison Hacks for making it. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I pretty much went over everything from me going through everything, so you should have a similar experience. As uh, I'm not the creator, so I went through it just like one of you would. And uh, so the process would be similar to how you would go about it. So if you have any questions, don't forget to comment below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to give this thing an A+. Plus. I mean, it's awesome. It comes pre-set up. It's ready to go. And it's just super customizable. Mad Little Pixel really likes this game. Great game, by the way. And um, it's just awesome. Really cool. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video... To be able to play these games that are like, you'd have to go to a retro arcade or something to find them and be able to play them at home is fantastic. Awesome. Really cool stuff. Um, it also opens up ideas to where, you know, you can get a really uh, not so great laptop and run this in a bar top build or just have a little retro gaming laptop, something like that. My computer here is pretty high end, but I imagine, you know, something mediocre would run a lot of this just fine. Alright guys, see you on the next one. Don't forget to like, subscribe. Peace.